After a super hot start to the year, the Warriors are having a really tough stretch, losing five of their last seven games. To add insult to injury, the Warriors will be without Draymond Green for an extended period. It was reported that Draymond Green will now miss at least the next two weeks with a calf injury, and he'll be getting reevaluated in two weeks so he can miss even more time. I'm sure the Warriors are going to be super cautious here and not rush him back. For the Warriors, this is a pretty significant blow. Draymond Green is the heart and soul of the team, and his presence will definitely be missed. The Warriors have a record of just 2-4 and four this season when Draymond doesn't play, which really captures his importance to the team. Losing Draymond probably hurts Golden State the most on the defensive end as he's one of the league's best defenders. The Warriors are still a good defensive team without him, but the defense has slipped with him out. On the season, the Warriors lead the entire league in defensive rating, but in the past five games where Draymond hasn't played, the Warriors are eighth in defensive rating in that stretch. In their loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves, the Warriors gave up 119 points and allowed the Wolves to shoot 50% from the field. As we could see, Draymond being out hurts the team a lot, and several players on the Warriors are going to have to step up to offset this loss. One silver lining is that the Warriors should see more of Jonathan Kaminga. Kaminga has been playing more with Dre out, and he's been thriving. In fact, in his last four games, he's averaging 18 points per game on 50% shooting, including 25 points on 10 of 12 shooting against the Bulls. It's nice to see Kaminga playing well, and with Draymond out for the next two weeks, he should continue to get at least 20 minutes per game, and hopefully he can continue to provide scoring and good defense off the bench. Another guy who needs to step up is Otto Porter Jr. Otto seems to be the player who gets to start at power forward when Dre is out, and he's thriving in those minutes. In the six games that Otto has started for the Warriors, he's averaging 12 points and 7 boards a game, which is pretty solid. He's a good defender and rebounder, and he's a sniper from downtown. The Warriors are going to need him to continue that production during the duration of Draymond's injury. Someone who really needs to step up big time is Steph Curry. Over his last 10 games, Steph is averaging 23 points and 6 assists, but he's doing it on just 38% shooting from the field and 34% from 3, which is pretty terrible by Steph's standards. Now Steph has been in a slump all season, but the Warriors defense was so good that they could win even when Steph was ice cold. With Draymond out, I don't think they could survive too many bad shooting performances from Steph. He's going to need to play at least to his usual standards for the Warriors to get back to winning on a consistent basis. Another guy who needs to step up on offense is Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins is a terrific two-way player, but a flaw in his game is how inconsistent he can be on offense. Some nights he shoots the ball really well, and other nights he's inefficient. The Warriors are going to need him to be more consistently good, and they're going to need him to be even more aggressive on offense to relieve the pressure from Steph Curry. Andrew Wiggins needs to be able to provide at least 22 points per game over these next couple of weeks. It would also help if Klay Thompson could get going, but he is still working his way back after not playing for two years. He's averaging 14 a game, but on just 35% shooting. He also hasn't shot above 40% from the field yet. A positive sign from Klay is that he does look explosive, and we are seeing him get to the basket, but his shots simply aren't falling. If Clay rediscovers his form, that's going to take some offensive pressure off Curry because that gives the defense another player they need to focus on. The last player I'm going to mention is Jordan Poole. Similar to Andrew Wiggins, he's another guy whose offense can be erratic. He looks on fire some nights, but then he also has other nights when he shoots 2 for 7 or 3 for 11. They're going to need him to provide some more consistent offense, and they're also going to need an increased level of scoring aggression from him to increase the team's offense. Last point I'm going to mention, with about three weeks until the trade deadline comes, maybe the Warriors might want to consider a trade. Not only could a trade help them survive this stretch without Draymond, but also help bolster their roster for a title run. Now the dubs have been linked to several names like Miles Turner and Christian Wood, and I'm sure these guys can make the Warriors a lot better. But anyway guys, that's going to be it for me. Who do you think needs to step up in the wake of Draymond's injury? And do you think the Warriors need to make a trade? Let me know in the comments. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed this. And check out some of my other Warriors content. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.